This is 90.3 KEXP and KEXP.org Worldwide. I'm John Richards, and you're listening to The Morning Show. And uh, we've been been waiting since March, or at least I have, uh, to welcome Amen Dunes to the studio. How are you? Good. Great to be here. It is good to see you. And, uh, you know, back in, I guess, March, this came out. I, you know, it was a little early to be saying it was my favorite album of the year, but it is now into August and it's still at the top. So thank you. Great record. And uh, so excited to have you here. If you are ready, take it away. I work all day Don't get down my way In the corner I go call up the place Play religious music Don't think you understand me Well, hear me fall I will stick around I'm the baddest on this thing town Can you eat in me? They speak now the time Well, they left me there But they me had no fun To the snap my fork Damon Dunes live here on the morning show and Blue Rose, one of my favorites from the album Freedom, came out in March, played last night at the Crocodile, and that probably means you've got tons of sleep. 
<laughs> very That's rested, right. ready to go. Uh, then headed up to Vancouver and then back down to Portland the night after. We got another one from the record? Calling Paul the Suffering. All right. Call him Parlor Subfield Ian Ian On you Yeah, I've been rolling Met with tea Loving tea On you Live here on the morning show. And again, the new album called Freedom. Calling Paul the Suffering, another great one from the record. Vibe is so good with this band, man. Do you mind introducing said band? Of course, yeah, I'd be happy to. On drums, we got Darren Beckett. On bass, we got Dandy McDowell. On keyboards, we got Panoram. And on guitar, we got Dave and Givhan. How long has this uh, lineup been playing together? Oh, you know, like 72 hours. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not totally true. It, it, it is true in this format, but yeah. I've known Darren for 15 years, and I've known Raffaele for a while, and Raffaele played in the record. Yeah, you can feel it. I mean, this, this is a very talented band. You know? yeah, yeah. We're in here a lot, and uh, it's always good to see a, a vibe like this in here. Um, again, I, I can't say enough about the record. This is the embarrassing part of the interview where I gush over your record and you. put you on the spot. But it is a brilliant record, and I just I love where, where I don't know, it just has got such a uplifting but kind of a serious vibe. I don't know how else mm. to put it. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about the record, how it came about, how long this record took to make? Yeah, it took a long time. I mean, we we uh, we actually did a whole version of it that I threw away. Oof. So it wasn't really cutting it. So I mean, we we did this. I worked on this record for about three years, like straight. You know, is that a hard? That's gotta be a hard. Was it a hard? Maybe it isn't a hard decision to throw it away. What, what hit you? Uh, the vibe wasn't right. Right. You know, it's just an energetic thing. You can't put your finger on it. Just the energy wasn't like transmitted. Were the were they the songs or did you, or, it was the same songs? Yeah, yeah, like everything was the same. It was just the the life hadn't like been you know breathed into it or whatever you know. 
Well, it takes a brave man to, to throw that away and start over again. Yeah, um, or someone with a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> or someone with a lot of time on their hands, or a very kind label involved, yeah, or yeah, all, right. all of the above. Mm-hmm. Uh, so where do we find you on the tour? I know you played last night in Seattle. You're heading for a few more uh, shows up and down the I-5, but uh, mm-hmm. did you head out earlier th- this year after the record came out? Yeah, we did. We've actually done like four or five tours already. We've done two trips to Europe and two U.S. tours. This is our third U.S. tour since April, and then we're going to do a full U.S. tour now, Full U.S. Full Europe tour in September, and then uh, Austin city limits in October. So, oh, congrats! How are the crowds? Are they? I mean, I'll say last night Seattle was incredible. Actually, yeah. it was one of the best shows I've played in a very long time. Yeah, you were in a uh, on a Monday night. What are you on gonna, a Monday what are you night, yeah, but people were great, man. That room's really got a good energy. So, yeah, I've been there many times over the years. Um, uh, what about the inspiration for uh, for the for the change of the vibe too? I want to get back to that. Like w- when you threw it away and, and you went back to it. Did you have to experiment with different sounds when, when you finally found the right vibe for those songs? I mean, a lot of what I do is, you know, about collaborating with really talented people. So I brought in new people, and that's kind of part of what brought the sound. I mean, Raffaele, he's from, from Italy, and he, he contributed a bunch of stuff from there. Uh, Delicate Steve on guitar, and then Chris Cody, who was a producer. Sure. So all these people came in and just kind of got this next-level energy to it, you know? I, I, I like to think of you when it finally hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was I was so grateful for it because yeah. you kind of can't do it alone, at least with not this kind of, not with this kind of music, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, uh, you have a, a song coming up, Believe, and uh, I wanted to ask you about it, like the inspiration for this song. Uh, and Believe is about you know about a lot of things, but like big themes, you know, it's about mortality and and uh, it's sort of like the one, it's sort of the one song that's got a feminine energy in the record. This whole record is a bunch. It's like a bunch of character portraits, sort of like mm-hmm. masculine kind of identity in a way. But this one is like the feminine spirit sort of. And it's, you know, t- technically about my mother, but it's also about a lot of things, you know. Well, that's a good setup for the song if you're ready. Yeah. All right. I was afraid to die, but I'll go up now. Baby, you song and play my song back in 1992. Things are simple, baby.
it's hard to hear Seeing this go around It goes back all the things It best be done with they belong I believe it, I believe it I'm not down Fall Eamon Dunes live here on the morning show. Believe, nicely done, fellas. Great song. I uh, I had a chance to take your record uh, on a road trip with me recently. It was down the Southwest, long roads, really hot, yeah. beautiful rocks. I didn't realize how much I liked. It's nice down there. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I liked rocks till I went down there. But man, you got to pick and choose your records right when you go on road trips. You're touring, you know, mm-hmm. right? Are you guys, is there anything you guys are? I actually don't listen to music ever. Do you? I, yeah. never, I never listen to any music in the van at home. I barely listen to any music. My thing is, it, I'm a runner, and people ask me what I listen to when I run, and I make running podcasts. I'm like, I can't, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bird sounds. It's good to have silence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in that silence, that's kind of probably where a lot of your, your lyrics and other things come from, right? Definitely, man, yeah. Are you able to write on the road? Are you someone who, who no? On the road, I kind of just focus on the show, you know, and everything else is just kind of like... Just taking care of the machine, you know. Yeah, you got to put yourself somewhere to write. Uh, yeah, I kind of have to like put time aside for that, you know. Do your friends and family know to leave you alone around? The yeah, yeah, they kind of leave me alone. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. don't want to get into one of his songs. I'm gonna leave <laughs> yeah, alone. right, Billy. All right, can Better you tell me? Out. Can you tell me about the character in your next song too? By the way, for people uh, who don't know. Yeah, Mickey Dora. He was kind of like this rogue. He was he was a sort of celebrated surfer, but he was also a very questionable person, and he was kind of like a criminal and all these kinds of things, shyster, and. uh yeah, he was just, he was sort of like a troubled talent, sort of, in a way, you know? Right. He was like a f- kind of false ego manifestation or something, you know? It's a great song. Thank and you. Uh, it's Amen Dunes, one more for us live here on KXP.
Sounds good. Thank you, man. <laughs> I, I was, as if I couldn't like it uh, enough. Now you've played it live, and I like it even more. Thanks, man. Ah, Mickey Dora is just a great song. Freedom is the album. Can't say enough about it. Clearly, and uh, see this band live. I swear to God, Are you just gonna keep touring the U.S. over and over again. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep doing. It. <laughs> you got more shows coming up close to here uh, again tonight. Going to head up uh, north of Vancouver and then back down Wednesday to Portland. It sounds like much more after that. Thank you again for taking the time. I know not a lot of sleep probably between the. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, of great. course. You guys are always welcome. It's Eamon Dunes here at KXP. And a big thank you to our team as well, working very hard this week, as always. And everybody who supports KXP keeps us independent, nonprofit, and able to champion bands every day. This is 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Ah, that was great. Thank you, man. Thank you. That was fun. So good. Thanks.
Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.